Welcome to another video by Matthew McKenzie, former care and experts by experience in caring for someone with a severe mental illness. As of the timing of this video being the 10th of September 2020, it is World Suicide Prevention Day. Now usually I do videos to raise awareness of carers, specifically carers who are caring for someone with a mental illness. But every so often I do want to raise awareness of mental health. I usually do anyway. And suicide prevention is an important issue because it certainly does involve mental health. World Suicide Prevention Day is an awareness day usually observed on the 10th of September every year. However, World Suicide Prevention Day aims to look at starting a conversation about suicide and to show that recovery is possible. Now, there are many charities and organisations promoting World Suicide Day across the world. However, the theme for World Suicide Prevention Day, as of now, is, um, I think it's two themes. I think one of, is of being connection, and the other is working together to prevent suicide. The awareness campaign is actually organised by the International Association for Suicide Prevention, which was otherwise known as IASP. With Suicide Prevention Day, it is especially relevant because of the situation of COVID-19, which has affected us all in different ways and brought definitely increased challenges. Unfortunately, many people have lost so much um, during the COVID-19 situation, and that could be their jobs, their homes. M many have lost loved ones. And, you know, they've also lost that strong sense of, of connection to society and to the world. So for the themes of World Suicide Prevention Day, having a strong sense of connection is an important part of suicide prevention. And, you know, I'd, I'd like to mention that, we, you know, we can all form a connection with, with friends, with families, those who support us. Uh, and I specifically think that, you know, family is important when caring for someone. But still, some might ask, you know, why is Suicide Prevention Day actually needed? And statistics alone should support that. Unfortunately, 800,000 people take their own life each year. Now, despite those terrible statistics, one life taken is always a tragedy. And so it just goes to show there's still a lot of work for the government, health organisations and society to do in general. Families and carers looking after someone who suffers from suicidal thoughts can actually be devastated when they lose someone to this. So the idea of suicide, if, if you look at it closely, suicide emotions tend to vary. And it could be from usually distress, ridicule from others, especially if you suffer from mental illness, which can increase the suicide emotions. Anger, anxiety, tension, fear, and, and these can also be related to COVID-19 and, and have always happened, I suppose, even before then. Also sadness and, and anything that can cause intention to increase determination to, to end someone's life. Now there are many events taking place across the world and perhaps even beyond um, and we can all do a bit to raise awareness. I, I've noticed on the 10th of September in the evening people can and usually do light a candle, I suppose near the window, usually around 8 o'clock to show their support for World Suicide Prevention Day, especially if they had lost a loved one. Lastly, I'd like to mention that there are some useful tips that, that can be useful to help in World Suicide Prevention Day, even for yourself. And remember the theme on um, connection and on working together to prevent uh, suicide is that you know, people should really have, let's say, honest communications about mental, mental ill health and honest conversations about suicide. Now, having such, such, you know, having these conversations can actually help in regards to increasing awareness and also breaking the stigma, which is a common theme in mental health. And it's important to remind others and ourselves that we're not always alone. If you are suffering from suicidal thoughts, it's good to let friends or, or well, trusted friends, and especially family, know what's going on for you. There's always a chance you might be able to get that support and keep you safe. So with that, I'd like to say 
just thanks for watching this video and certainly uh, pay attention to what's going on for World Suicide Prevention Day 2020. See you again soon.